A state Senator here in my home state of Florida has proposed legislation that would effectively ban the democratic party from existing here in the state of Florida. The legislation specifically, uh, which by the way, the dude's name is uh, blaze Ignalia. So Senator Ignalia here in the state of Florida has put forth legislation saying that any party, he doesn't name the Democrats, but he's admitted that's who he's targeting. Any party who at any point in their existence, uh, supported slavery or indentured servitude, uh, you can't exist in the state of Florida and anyone registered with that party, your voter registration will automatically be changed to no party affiliation. Now here's the thing he points out in the legislation. Um, well, he doesn't point out in the legislation, but he's mentioned, you know, the democratic party did have a pro slavery position back in the 1800s. Like you literally have to go back 159 years to find when the Democrats supported slavery. Cause the last time it was an official party position was 1864, again, 159 years ago. So if you've got to dig back 159 years to attack a political party, um, yeah, then I'm pretty sure you have nothing to attack that political party for like, Oh, we'll find dirt on them. Uh, what about before we even had cars? How about then? That seems totally relevant and normal, but that's what Senator Ignalia has had to do here. Now let's take a moment to think about this. This is a sitting state Senator here in the state of Florida. He has put forward this legislation, which ordinarily you'd see something like this. You'd be like, wow, this is so crazy. Obviously it's not going to pass, but this is 2023. We're talking about, they have passed Republicans, not just here in Florida, but at the state level across the country, they have passed some of the worst legislation we've ever seen. Some of it directly contradicting Supreme court rulings with the sole intention of getting those Supreme court rulings overturned, which they successfully did with Roe versus Wade. So I, I, I can't, I can't even write off this legislation is so stupid that it's going to not pass. Like anything's possible, anything they could absolutely pass this bill. And that's, what's so terrifying as a registered Democrat here in the state of Florida, this scares the hell out of me because this is what they're trying to do. This is how they attack the opposition. You think this is the biggest issue we have in Florida. It's not but there is no more legislating down here. There's no more legislating to benefit the public at the state level in any red state across this godforsaken country anymore. We've got Republicans in Idaho last week, uh, put forward legislation to ban MRNA vaccines legislation in Montana this week to ban people from donating blood or organs or bone marrow or any bodily tissue if you've had any MRNA vaccines, Tennessee banning drag performances. So this piece of legislation here, banning the democratic party from existing in the state of Florida, this is no longer far fetched. This is no longer the kind of thing that would get somebody laughed off the political stage and you'd never hear from them again. This is a career booster. This is the kind of thing that propels you into national office from this point, because that's how insane this Republican party in America today has become, there are no more normal Republicans. There are no good Republicans, each and every one of them. I don't care if they consider themselves moderate, like Mitt Romney. Oh, I'm just a normal guy. If you're a Republican, this is the crap you stand for persecuting people for their political beliefs, for their religions, for their sexual preferences and for their genders and the color of their skin. That's what Republicans stand for today. And their legislation proves it. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.